What is up players, it's Warboss Tay back up in this mug after many sleepless nights. I finally finished the daily questions for the category Heroes of Hobbiton. And I'm going to read it to you here now. We've got it posted up on the Discord. It's one of the four categories that will be available to be randomly rolled for the February 2021 painting challenge. If you are going to be doing the daily questions and you want to randomly roll them, this is going to be result number four on a D6. So every day when you choose your daily questions, if you want to randomly roll a D6 to pick which uh, category you're going to get, remember one is going to be culture, two is getting to know you, three is hobby, and four will be Heroes of Hobbyton. Five is share a story and six is tell a joke. So those don't have their own list of questions but for the other four categories we've got a question every single day and i'm going to read them to you now day number one and remember each one of these questions corresponds to a day of the month so if you are on that day of the month and you roll that d6 and you come up with a four this is the question that you will be answering day number one you were born and raised on a small farm your father and mother taught you much in your childhood including a how to fight with a sword shield and spear B, how to move silently and hunt with a bow and arrow. Or C, how to meditate and read and how to cast minor spells and cantrips. Day number two. You may choose the day's chores, your father says one morning. Do you A, join your father smelting tools and horseshoes in the forge. B, hunt wild rabbits in the nearby forest. Or C, join your mother grinding herbs and mixing potions in the cottage. Day three. Your mother has fallen ill, and your father has gone into town to fetch medicine. As the only child, your father charges you with guarding the farm until he returns. How do you spend the day? A. Go fishing in the nearby river to make your mother her favorite stew. B. Gather herbs from a nearby field to boil and make your mother a soothing tea and compress. Or C. Sit at your mother's side, watching over her and waiting for your father to return. Day four, your father is gone for days. Having recovered from her illness, your mother tells you that she must go into town not only to search for your father, but also to purchase items you'll need to survive the winter. Mind the home while I'm gone, she says. I shall return soon. There are many tasks that must be completed. Which do you see to first? A, hunt for wild game to fill the larder. B. Repair the walls of the home and patch the roof. Or C. Sew up the holes in your family's clothes and mend the blankets and capes that have worn thin. Day 5. Suddenly a roving band of goblins attack your farm. They charge out of the dark forests on the backs of savage wolves, waving their crude weapons in the air. What do you do? A. Fight. Defend the farm with blade and bow. B. Hide in the cellar and wait for them to leave. Or C. Flee out the back and hope they don't see you. Day 6. The goblins have overrun your farm and your only choice now is to flee. You watch from a nearby hilltop as your home burns and with heavy heart you make your way toward the city. Years pass and fate has set you on one of the following paths. What have you become? A. A leader of the local mercenaries guild with a guild hall at the center of the bustling market district. B. A criminal underboss running numerous blackmail and racketeering operations throughout the city from a secret headquarters in the workers quarter. Or C. An accomplished wizard at the local mages college located in the affluent nobles avenue. Day number seven. How is your project going? Do you think you'll be able to finish by the end of the month? Day eight. Whose project are you enjoying following? Why? Day 9. Suddenly, hordes of demons materialize through a swirling vortex and attack your headquarters. You hold them at bay with the assistance of Lewis, a wizard of some renown who happened to be passing by at the time of the attack. When your base of operations is finally secure, you see that demons are appearing everywhere throughout the city. You gather your closest lieutenants and give the following order. A. Join the city militia and fight off the demons. B. Assist in the evacuation of the civilians. C. 
hunker down and protect your base from demons, but do not risk the lives of your subordinates to venture out into the city. Day 10. Demons and their traitorous human allies seek to destroy everything in the name of their dark god, Gabubu. A grand alliance of nations and races, including human, dwarf, elf, and halfling, is formed to save the world. You lead a militia of survivors from your old guild, gang, or coven, and can choose where to be assigned first. Do you A. Scout ahead of the Grand Alliance's army, reporting on enemy movements and clearing the way of minor obstacles. No glory, but a chance to operate outside the bounds of the military and procure special contraband wherever you go. B. March in the vanguard of the Grand Alliance army. Dangerous, but your bravery and skill could lead to great renown and prestige if you perform well in the large-scale battles. Or C. Support the supply train and artillery batteries. Essential work, but easy, relatively low risk, and without glory. Day 11. One of your comrades from the old days is caught trying to sneak away in the dead of night. He says he needs to get home to care for his sick parents. The Lord Commanders of your army expect you to make an example of the deserter. What do you do? Day 12. The Lord Commanders decide your squad will help retake a valuable port city held by northern barbarian tribesmen. Do you A. Join the main assault force and charge the front gates. B. Join the naval attack and enter the city on an elven sea cutter. Or C. Attack from the sky aboard a steam-powered dwarven sky freighter. Day 13. During the battle to retake the port city, you square off against the war chief of the northern barbarian tribes. He roars a challenge at you. Nearby skirmishes cease and all eyes turn to you. Do you A. Attack him head on and fight with honor, even though he is 20 power levels higher than you with max stats and boss level gear. B. Fight dirty using every trick in the book to win. C. Do something else. Explain. Day 14. After the battle, the northern tribes flee and the city is retaken. For your bravery, you are gifted with one of the following. Which do you choose? A. A blessed sunsteel sword that can instantly banish any demon it cuts. B. An enchanted elven ring that, when worn, has an 80% chance of instantly negating any damage you take. Or C. A suit of master-crafted Dwarven Steam Knight armor with Forge Flame Cannon and back-mounted Grudge Rocket. <laughs> Day 15. How is your project going? Do you think you'll be able to finish by the end of the month? Day 16. Whose project are you enjoying following and why? Day 17. Throughout the campaign, you gain quite a reputation among your commanders. And after a string of victories, you and your squad are given your choice of easy assignments. Which do you choose? A. Honor guard for the envoy to the Elven King. B. Honor guard for the envoy to the Dwarven King. C. Garrison duty at the halfling capital, Applebottom Bay. Day 18. The elven princess approaches you in camp one night and asks if you will escort her into the nearby city. She wants to experience the excitement of a pub and a gaming den and everything else that nightlife in a human settlement can offer. But her father, the elf king, will be furious if he finds out that she snuck away and put herself at such risk. What do you do? 19. One evening in camp the Dwarf Crown Prince challenges you to a sparring match. He wants to prove himself to his father, the Dwarf High King. However, the Prince is not an impressive fighter. After checking his stat sheet, you calculate that you'll easily win a sparring match, and his reputation would be devastated as a result. On the other hand, your comrades will be watching and would not be happy if you lost to so weak an opponent. What do you do? Day 20. As the war draws to a close, you are given assignments of ever greater importance. 
With Gabubu's remaining armies fleeing to the dark citadel of Bad Placeland, the Grand Alliance sets up for a siege while gathering strength for one final push. Your squad is given the following task. Choose one and explain why. A. Escort the Elven Princess to a hidden port where a fleet of ships will carry her back to the Elven Forest City for safety. The Elf King has personally requested that you perform this task and hinted that he may be able to secure alliances with a clan of dragon riders if you succeed. B. Lead your team into the ruins of an ancient necropolis where the Dwarf King's ancestral helm is rumored to be. The dwarves have grown surly and frustrated, thinking the humans are using them only as disposable frontline troops. Such a show of goodwill could strengthen the bond of honor and duty that now exists between the races. The Dwarf King also hints that certain lost schematics within the necropolis could, if reclaimed, increase the power and potency of the black powder weapons in your army. Or C. Carry out a surprise raid on an enemy force rumored to be moving through the mountains nearby. The traitorous human king is said to be leading them, and capturing him could turn the tide of the war. Day 21 Hold on there, commander, Igor says. Take this little fella to aid you in the coming battle. What does Igor give you? A. A leopard that can turn you invisible every time you scratch its head. B. A dwarven steam golem the size of an ogre, with super strength and the ability to bake all sorts of goodies in its iron furnace belly. Or C. A magical flying carpet with pintle mounted machine gun. Day 22. How is your project going? Do you think you'll be able to finish by the end of the month? Day 23. Whose project are you enjoying following? Why? Day 24. It is time to attack the Dark Citadel and destroy Gabubu once and for all. Where will you place your squad? A. In the battering ram assaulting the front gate. B. On the ladders climbing the walls. Or C. In the siege towers rolling toward the ramparts. Day 25. The battle is over and the war is won. Gabubu is defeated, and although he has fled to darken our door another day, we are safe from his insidious machinations for now. The people look to you now for leadership. Do you A. Crown yourself Big Daddy Emperor and take charge of the rebuilding and reformation of civilization? B. Help establish a governing council of surviving lords and ladies to oversee the rebuilding of their individual city-states. Or C. Fade quietly into the shadows and leave the governing to those who wish to rule. Day 26. How do you plan on spending the next two days in order to finish your project? If you are already finished, what do you plan to do with the rest of your time? Day 27. As the final day approaches, send the final message of hope and encouragement to those at the home stretch. Day 28. Congratulations! You've finished the challenge and are immortalized in Hobbiton's hallowed hall of legends. Recap the month for us. What worked? What didn't? What would you do differently? Show off your project and let the world cheer your dedication and commitment. Bravo. Well, that's it for the Heroes of Hobbiton category. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini paper and pen role-playing game. I wanted to make it fun and uh, a little bit silly, but questions that can be answered. And uh, hey, if you think of something else that I didn't include in one of the multiple choice questions, go ahead and uh, let me know what you think and what you would do in that situation. Also, there's two ways you could play Heroes of Hobbiton. You could play it as the ideal role-playing game character that would game the system that you could try to min-max and figure out how to uh, cheat the system and get all the best loot. That's what I always do whenever I play role-playing games. Or you could actually put yourself into the role-playing game and see what you would do in that situation. Or uh, what I think is the most fun would be to choose the answer that would encompass what your ideal self would do. The person that you want to be. If you were 
a character in this crazy situation, what would your character do that you would uh, want to see happen? All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Hey, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe before you go. And uh, follow us along in the Discord where we're going to be tracking everything for the February Painting Challenge. If you'd like to support my studio, I will leave a link to the Patreon down below. And uh, thanks so much for watching all the way here, you guys. I hope you have a great night. Talk to you later. Latest players.